Rabbits and hares are two distinct animals that are often confused due to their similar appearances and overlapping habitats. Both belong to the order Lagomorpha, family Leporidae, yet they exhibit notable differences in their physical characteristics, behaviors, reproductive strategies, and ecological roles. Understanding these differences is crucial for various fields such as wildlife management, conservation biology, and even pet care. Taxonomy and classification. Rabbits and hares are part of the same family, Leporidae, but they belong to different genera. Rabbits are primarily classified under the genus Oryctologus and Silvilagus, with the European rabbit, Oryctolagus cuniculus, being the most well-known species. Hares belong to the genus Lepus, which includes species like the European hare, Lepus europaeus, and the snowshoe hare, Lepus americanus. This taxonomic distinction is fundamental in understanding the evolutionary paths and adaptive strategies that differentiate these two groups. Physical Characteristics One of the most obvious differences between rabbits and hares is their physical appearance. Hares are generally larger than rabbits, with longer ears and hind legs. These adaptations are beneficial for their lifestyle, which involves running at high speeds to escape predators. Hares have powerful hind legs that enable them to reach speeds of up to 45 miles per hour. In contrast, rabbits have shorter ears and legs, and their bodies are more compact, making them better suited for burrowing and quick, short bursts of speed to evade threats. Fur and coloration. The fur of rabbits and hares also differs significantly. Hares typically have longer, coarser fur that provides better insulation in colder environments. Many hare species change color with the seasons. For instance, the snowshoe hare has white fur in the winter to blend with the snow and brown fur in the summer. Rabbits usually have softer, denser fur that remains relatively constant in color throughout the year, although some species like the cottontail rabbit exhibit seasonal changes in fur density to adapt to varying temperatures. Reproductive strategies. Rabbits and hares have distinct reproductive strategies that reflect their different ecological niches. Rabbits are known for their high reproductive rate, with some species capable of breeding several times a year and producing large litters of up to 12 offspring. Rabbit kittens are born altricial, meaning they are blind, hairless, and entirely dependent on their mothers. This necessitates nesting in secure underground burrows to protect the vulnerable young. Hares, on the other hand, have a slower reproductive rate, but their leverets, or young hares, are born precocial. This means they are born fully furred with open eyes and are able to hop within a few hours of birth. Leverets are typically hidden in shallow depressions in the grass rather than burrows, relying on their advanced development and the mother's camouflage for protection from predators. Behavior and social structure. The social structures of rabbits and hares also differ markedly. Rabbits are generally more social animals, often living in groups known as colonies or warrens, this social lifestyle is supported by their burrowing behavior, which provides communal protection and facilitates social interactions. Communication among rabbits includes a variety of vocalizations, body postures, and scent markings. Hares are more solitary creatures, typically coming together only for breeding purposes. Their reliance on speed and camouflage rather than burrowing means that they are less dependent on social structures for survival. The solitary nature of hares is also reflected in their behavior, with less complex social interactions compared to rabbits. Habitat and Distribution Rabbits and hares occupy a wide range of habitats, but their preferences differ. Rabbits are more adaptable to a variety of environments, including meadows, forests, grasslands, and even urban areas. Their ability to burrow allows them to create secure homes in diverse locations. Hares prefer open habitats such as prairies, tundras, and deserts, where their speed and agility can be maximized to escape predators. These habitat preferences influence their geographical distribution, with some species having very specific ranges, while others are more widespread. Diet and feeding habits. Both rabbits and hares are herbivores, but their feeding habits show notable differences. Rabbits primarily feed on soft vegetation, including grasses, herbs, and leafy plants. They are known to practice coprophagy, consuming their feces to redigest nutrients, which is an adaptation to their high-fiber diet. Hares, in contrast, have a more varied diet that can include tougher plant materials like bark, twigs, and buds, especially during winter when softer vegetation is scarce. 
adaptations and survival strategies. The adaptations of rabbits and hares to their respective environments showcase their evolutionary ingenuity. Rabbits have developed complex burrowing systems that provide shelter from predators and extreme weather. These burrows also serve as nurseries for their young. Hares rely on their physical adaptations, such as powerful hind legs and keen senses, to survive in open environments. Their ability to run at high speeds and their cryptic coloration help them evade predators effectively. Human Interaction and Domestication Rabbits have a long history of domestication and are commonly kept as pets, used in research, and raised for their meat and fur. The domesticated rabbit breeds vary widely in size, color, and temperament. Hares, however, have not been domesticated to the same extent, primarily due to their solitary nature and specific habitat requirements. Human interaction with hares is more often related to wildlife management and conservation efforts. Conservation status. The conservation status of rabbits and hares varies by species and region. Some species like the European rabbit are widespread and considered pests in certain areas due to their prolific breeding and impact on agriculture. Conversely, other species, particularly those with restricted ranges or specific habitat requirements, face threats from habitat loss, climate change, and hunting. Conservation efforts for these species focus on habitat preservation, research, and management practices to ensure their survival. If you want to learn more about rabbits, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Also, remember to like and share this video with friends and family. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.